Hi guys, are you looking for ways to actually set up your own online store or maybe share your own Shopify store? Well, I've got good news for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your Shopify store quickly, fast and easy. So follow me and I'll show you how. Hi guys, my name is Ali and welcome to the Guesses channel, your resource for all your marketing needs. In this special class and episode, we're going to learn basically how to set up your Shopify store professionally. And basically, we'll go through four simple things in this video. First of all, we'll learn how to actually sign up and register for your Shopify store. Number two, how to set it up correctly and fast and easy. And number three, we're going to learn how to add the payment gateway. If you don't add that in, you can don't get paid. Okay. And last but not least, how to actually unlock your Shopify store. So that's what you'll be learning in this video. So follow me along as I show you how to do it. Let's go. Alright, welcome to this video. And this video is talking more about how to set up your uh, Shopify store. So just go to paisa.com slash Shopify. Uh, that's a special link All right, uh, that you can go to to sign up for Shopify. So once you go to this link, or you can find it in the description of this video, all right, uh, you will come to either this page or this page here, depending which country uh, or page you're looking at. This is a Singapore site, so different all the different sites will have maybe different layouts. So all you need to do is just put in the store name, uh, email, and password to and click sign up. All right, for here is basically you just need to click on start free trial and enter your uh, email and password and store name all right to uh, get started so i'm gonna do that right now all right to create an account so once you uh, fill up the form to put in your name password and store name all right uh, the store name is not that important you can put any name is fine uh, because we're going to use the uh, domain name later instead of the shop default shopify uh, store so for this form uh, basically how to fill in if let's say uh, my name is Peter so and my surname is Tan so your surname will be on the last name and first name is your name uh, street address is your house address all right and apartment you should know your door number city is just uh, whatever city you are I'm in Singapore so Singapore here zip code you should know uh, Singapore just country you just select wherever you stay and just put your phone number there and basically that's it and then click next all right that's what you do for this uh part here so the next stop is uh it did uh, ask for a little survey are you already selling uh you can just say i'm not selling products yet or you're already selling it's fine just a small survey uh this one you can put i just started or or this is up to you all right so most of you guys are just started so you can just click that okay uh this one is definitely no you have to take so you're not sending a store for someone else all right then you just click enter your store hey there if you like what you're watching so far in this video please take a second to click the like button below and subscribe to receive more great tips because we publish new videos every week and if you really love this video please share with your friends as they will benefit as well and i will need your help to grow this channel thank you and god bless so the first thing you want to do when you are on this uh setup page all right you want to click on settings okay and there's a few things you need to set up all right so you have your uh store name over here all right that you will have and you also have your uh, store legal name all right this basically is your business name if you have a registered company you can put your uh, company name here if you don't have one you can put uh, your name is fine as well okay and phone number you can put uh, either a singapore or i mean your local number if you have a us number you can put a us number and you must put a us uh, address if you have one you don't have one you can also put Singapore is also fine either way it's fine but if you have a US address will be preferred all right so basically um, here all right you want to select your time zone to uh, normally I put as uh, 
Pacific time. Okay, and I will change uh, this to US dollars. Okay, this is the most important uh, setting. US dollars is at, is at the top. Okay, uh, then click save. All right, so this is the most important part which you need to change the currency and also the time zone to US time. All right, we are now, uh, after finish the general, we are now at payments, which is uh, how you collect payment from your customer. All right, because I live in uh, Singapore, so uh, our, my only option is actually PayPal, but if you are living in uh, America or UK or other countries, you may want to uh, uh, activate other payment options all right so let me show you what the other payment options are uh, available okay so uh, make sure you can also remember to put uh, automatically capture payment for orders that's the most important uh, part <laughs> okay which is automatic okay and uh, here you can there's various uh, ways to collect payment all right depending which country you are from so you pick those that Shopify uh, recommend all right actually Shopify payments is powered by strip so you can uh, have an account there or you have a to check out account also can use all right or authorize.net account as you can use I'm using uh, to check out myself all right but to check out is very very particular about uh, what you sell on your store so PayPal and uh, Shopify is not so particular so uh, those are the few that I would recommend is Shopify to check out or authorize.net that will be the few that I would recommend all right other than that you can also use uh, PayPal as well okay so for those who live in America let me show you how to set an app up so you can click Shopify payments all right, this is the by far the easiest for those who are living in US all right so you can complete your click and complete setup so you select uh, which kind of uh, business you are doing okay uh, average estimate orders you can just choose thousand plus okay uh, this one's this this one's around here okay so just generally just tell them uh, we sell uh, for my niche I'm trying out all right dog stuff and accessories okay so I can't sign up uh, uh, this because I don't have this here. Okay, you need to have one of those. It's optional here, but I think it's needed to complete. All right, for the tax reasons. Okay, and you also need to have a business in the US to set this up. So you have to put your US business address here. Okay, you need to put in your contact details here as well and the above and so, uh, social security number which is why only us people can complete this okay so this is how you complete this part okay then this shop name is basically what you will see on the customer billing and your phone number all right this will be your uh, local us bank account details so you will enter it here so this is how they uh, deposit money to your account okay so that's how you set up for this particular payment which i can't set up because i don't stay in the us okay so for those of us who don't stay in the us uh, what can you do is uh you can just use paypal all right paypal is so fine so for paypal by default you will use your email so my paypal is not this email so you want to change it you get to deactivate first okay and then you can select the paypal again so if you live in the US, you can select uh, PayPal Pro or UK, you can select this or this. So you live in those relevant countries, you select those options. If not, if you are international like me from not in US, you will select Express. Okay. So basically, uh, you need to click Activate. Alright, and it should uh, push you to log in into your PayPal account which you need to do here that's what you see so you just need to log into your PayPal account if you don't have a PayPal account you need to sign up a PayPal account to receive money okay so to actually on your store you have to go to uh, settings go to online store scroll down and you notice that uh, your store is protected it's not select a plan 
so you need to remove that by picking a plan so generally you don't need the professional or limited plan we just need the basic uh, as well um, you would want to try the uh, basic one okay instead of the starter because we cannot edit the HTML uh, later on okay and we only limited to 25 uh, products in the starter so normally most people start off with the uh, $29 plan so down here you need to fill in your credit card information all right and you'll be built only after the trial ends okay so my this store is a brand new store uh i still got trial more days before it will start to build me so uh our goal is try to make sales even before it start building us okay so uh this is part i think is quite straightforward if you in your credit card information and you can select whichever you prefer so the more uh you select the more you save okay as you can see here all right so that's pretty straightforward once you have a uh, few in your credit card information and your billing address you can click confirm and your store will be activated uh, able to collect uh, money and sales so once you enter your credit card information and click confirm uh, this is what you will see and it will greet you uh, whatever day it is and your store should be live by now so let's do a test to see how it goes so uh, once it's live you want to test uh, a few things first you need to test make sure your delivery settings are set correctly so you can click add to cart okay so it shows zero zero so you need to check out so at the checkout screen you notice the shipping is uh, a dash because i had not entered my uh, address yet so this item only ships to US so I just enter my own US uh, information United States Okay, normally you when you enter the city okay so you click continue It will magically uh, have the 495. Okay, why is it 495? Because this item is uh, weighed at um, 200. Okay, so jumping back to here in our store, we know it's working fine. We need to unlock our store. So, how to unlock a store is you need to unlock a store after you enter your credit card information. So, you go to this globe here online store overview you need to click unlock store okay once the store is unlocked uh, you can actually disable it you want to disable it okay so that the public can actually uh, start shopping at your store and you can just put your uh, store title uh, here sell stuff for pets Cats. okay you can also enter your uh, google analytics here so that's basically how you uh, activate your store hi guys all right congratulations for watching up to this point of this video that shows to me that you are a very committed person remember to go to the link over here to register your shopify store if you're not done so all right and if you really enjoy what you learned so far in this entire video but I can't cover everything in one short video right? but you just to learn everything and complete step by step you want to check out my master class over here all right which I have taught to many many thousands of students all over the world up to 130 countries 
Alright, you can check out the link over here. There's a special offer just for you. Okay, and you can find the link in the description below as well. Also, another thing I want to highlight is that if you have not watched my Q research video and the foundation video, you also want to check out the link over here. So there's a lot of links you need to find out, all right, which is found in the description as well. So a total of three links that you need to take note, right, in this video, whatever that you need, all right. Of course, if you sign up the Shopify masterclass, you get everything laid out nicely for you. You can just follow through easily to set up your store fast. All right. So now that you have set up your store, all right, and you have basically getting ready to put products on your store. So the next one is sourcing products. How do you source products from China? So that's where in the next episode, we're going to show you basically where to source your products online so you can start selling on your Shopify store. So you don't want to miss the next episode after this. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this whole series so far. All right. Remember to thumbs up and share this video if you have benefited from it. So remember guys, your success is in your hands all right so keep learning keep trying and keep improving god bless and see you guys in the next video hey thanks for watching this video if you have found this video useful please give it a thumbs up or like this video and if you really like this video please share or tag your friends who might benefit from this video as i will need your help to keep this channel growing if you have a question you love answered, post them in the comment section below and I will actually answer them. Your question could be in my next video. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, remember to click here to subscribe to our channel and click here for the recommended link for this video. You may also want to check out the links at the side here for more great tips to help you in your business as well. Thank you and God bless.